All right, welcome back. Today I have bought the Magic Gathering Game Night box, and we are going to be opening that. Now let's see here. So, uh, so this is apparently a um, good starter place to for like new players. It includes five cards in the deck. And I mean, I mean, not five cards in the deck, like five decks, and it also has like a special board game with it. But you don't have to play the board game because these are normal Magic the Gathering cards, and you can just play it like that. But I, I, I am going to try to try the board game though because it comes with it, and might, might as well. Um, now the question is, how the hell to open this? So now I'm gonna going to grab some kind of shop object and just make a hole in it and then with the power of my nails come on hey okay there we go we good we good and with the power of my nails, we shall open this up. Ah. Ah, how's it looking over there? Okay, now. Okay, here we go. You guys ready to this? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to try to open this with one hand. <laughs> it's not going to go so well, is it? No, nope, no, be good. Oh, we are good. Okay, come, come on. Come on. Hey, here's my soda can start holding, my, holding up my uh, phone. Um, come on. Come on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, you ready? You ready? Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, let's see here. Okay. First off, <laughs> First off, we got a uh, rule book. Oh, okay. Um, I think this tells us about the board game. Yeah, it tells us about the board game. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Nice. Cool. So, you want to check out the board game? Uh. I mean, they're like the rule book, yeah, I think it's online somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, now we got the uh, the tokens. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Yeah. Not bad, eh? Uh, actually, why don't I just stack the, like, the sodas and then just... Oh, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Never mind, do not do that. Okay, cool. Got it. Don't do that again. Got it. Okay. Right. So, um, <clears throat> back, back, back to the topic. Um, so these are Puzzle Puzzle Tokens knife total. Oh shoot. Okay, here's the ones in. Yeah. Nice. Who are these? Uh, focus crema. Uh, yeah, I can't blame you for not focusing because it's, it's my lighting system is not very good. But, hey, yo. It's fine. It's fine. Nice, we got some nice looking tokens. Uh, I'm gonna hurry the hell up and punch out all, all the rest of these. Because I don't want to do them later. <laughs> Everything. Nice. Ah, now you guys can just 
have a good 10 minutes of well, okay, well, not 10 minutes, a few minutes of hearing me popping all these. Good, good old ASMR for you. Not, not really. I mean, this, 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 this yeah. Uh, that's a nice thing. Okay, goodbye. Now we just have a bunch of a mess, but it's all good. And now to give you a nook inside of the um what's gonna ship it? No, it's not octagon. Hexagon? It's some kind of gone. So we have a con con of dice depending on the uh type of the um, like this one for mountain, forest, plains, island, swamp. And five decks, so Let's uh, open them up and let's see what we got. And this is, there's a hole in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the tokens there because I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. Pretty sure. 100%. It may be 99%, but 100%. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that, you know. <laughs> so, um, I'm not gonna deal with that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm bad. I lied. I'm going to fix this right quick. Okay, all right. Now, let's look at the dice. Ooh, okay, they, they don't, they do not feel soft, but... Quite um, well, what's what's the word for this? I don't I don't know all the words. Oh man, um, it's basically like not slippery. It's just nice. Oh, okay, nice dice. Uh, I know that you need to use like a lot of dice in this game, probably because this is just for like 20 and the rest are just like for tokens and stuff, but not gonna get a bunch of dice. Ha! Alright, and uh, you know what? Let's roll them and see whoever gets the highest goes first. Alright, we got 2, 6, 15, 12, 8. Alright, so the order is going to be uh, the Iron deck first. Oh, so it tells you the speed, the creatures, spells, complexity. This is water, right? <laughs> ah, okay, I guess it's a mix of water and black, I guess. Yeah. Could be something cool. Alright, actually, no, no, no. I'm just gonna put all the garbage in here so I can just uh, throw it. Put all this in the garbage can. Make a good use of everything. Yeah. All right. Now. For the cards. All right. What we got here? Maybe. Oh no. Can we come back? Come back. Okay. There we go. We good. We good. Okay. Here we go. Okay. First off, we got a token. Oh, look at this. It's a zombie, but look. I'm pretty sure you can't see it, but it's, don't think it's in in a suit and tie. Zombies on us. Okay, wow. This zombie was going somewhere, but uh, it did. <laughs> so we got three zombie tokens. Nice. I got got killed before I went to wherever place they were going to go. But you know, it feels bad, man. Um, all right, here we go. Let's, let's do it like this. Defend yourself with spells while your creatures fly to victory. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, what do we, what do we have here? What, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Actually, hold up. I, I got a better way for this, you know what? I got a better way for this. Oh, hello, token. Uh, does this work? No, I need something to be up here. Um, sure. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. First off, we got speeds of enlightenment. Oh, look at this. What is this? Look at this color. It's foiled or something. Look at that. Quite nice. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent draws a card and you draw three cards. Oh, that's, that's really good. What we got here? Um, we got this card, instant spell, return to their owner's hand, return to their owner's hands all creature with toughness less than or equal to the number of islands you control. Okay, nice. I'm not going to pronounce all these names because no way in hell I'm going to uh, get them right, but you know what? Still going to try. Uh, engulf the shore, yeah. Next is Rivers Rebuk, Rebuke. Return all non land permanents target player controls to the hand. Wow, that's just a return everything to the hand, huh? Agent of Teachery? Human Rogue. When agent enters the battlefield, gain control of. Oh, you just gain control of a card? Nice. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. Wait a sec, hold up a second now. So not only you're defending yourself with spells and your creatures can fly, you can just steal opponent creatures. Wow. Wow, that's just that's just mean right there. <laughs> um Okay, we got Gungeon Geese. Sure, Jess. Yeah. Flying. Enters when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for the for as long as you control. Oh, okay. So opponent need to get rid of this card if they want their uh, card tapped by this card to be untapped. Oh, we see this before in the math video. Elemental. Another elemental. Ooh, Brineborn Cutthroat. Uh, Flash, you may cast this spell any time you could cast an instant. Oh, okay. <laughs> so basically at the end of your opponent's turn, he thinks he's, he's just going to end his turn, but nah. Bam! Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, put a plus one plus one counter. Oh, also, uh, when it says cast a spell, it doesn't matter if it's a creature, a instant, or a sorcery. They are all, they are all called spells. Uh, I think the reason why is uh, like us prayers or praying walkers, and um, like these creatures are spells because they're just summoning these creatures, I guess. Because these cards are called spells. <laughs> Don't know why. Uh, somebody in the, somebody in the comments can just correct me. <laughs> Uh, oh, we see, we also saw this card before. Oh, hello, another one of these cats. Nice. Ooh, two. Hey, we got some fishes. Good old fishes, two of them. Oh, this is new. A bird wizard. Oh boy, that's not what you want to see. Fine. Creature spells with flying you cast cost one nest to cast. Hmm. We got two of those. Return up to three targets. Creatures. Nice. Returning cards to hand. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's another card. Returning it back to the hand. Uh, let's, yeah, let's skip the order and answer. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 shoot. <laughs> hey, phone. Hey, hey there, phone. You wanna 
you, you want to get 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 back up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. This uh, this is getting much more of a mess now, but one hand style. Yeah. What we got here? We got Adrian Wind Mage. Fine. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. Ah, Wind Mage get plus one plus one until end of turn. Nice. Actually, you know what I can do, actually? I need something to nef my thing up. Oh, wait, hold up. I got it. I got it. I got it. Easy. Easy. Everything's fine. So if I put, like, some kind of book here, do it like this. So it should be levitated now a bit. Um, nah, because the knight is coming that way. Yeah, that's not really work that well, huh? Yeah. Well, there goes, there goes that time for the day. Oh, darn, darn. I thought I thought I figured out something. Uh, guess not. Yeah. Well. Now we got a serpent. Nice. Now let's just put this put this back up so everyone can go to see this. With the night. Uh, let's put this up here. Yeah. Nice. This spell costs one less to cast for each instant sorcery called in your graveyard. Okay. Alright. Nice. Ooh, we got Skeleton of Secrets. When this card enters the battlefield, return target. Oh, okay, so you can just return a card from your graveyard back to your hand. Nice. Ooh, a Colonist card. Artifact Creature Golem. Whenever Honoring Golem attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Hmm. Enchanted creature enters tap in. Ah, so you could just make some and make a creature tap and then it can't untap. Tap up the two target creatures. Those target creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, untap all non and permanents. Wait, everything can just be become untapped? And that is only two mana? That's that's pretty good. Return target tap creature to its owner's hand, draw a card. Okay. A lot of drawing cards here. Create a two two black zombie. Ah, I see. Uh for each instant and sorcery card in your grave. Oh man. Oh, small hands. Oh, that's a that is a nice looking waterfall right there. Not bad. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that that one's cool too. I uh, still like this one because it's it's kind of like a sunrise, a sunset, one of those two. I don't know. It's, this one is just the sun is just fully out. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Well, oh, that is that for the magic deck. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I do say so myself. Mm hmm. Uh, tokens. Okay. Should be fun to try these out. All right, next it is the Swamp Deck. Endless Horde, Master Death, as your zombie horde overcome all obstacles. Ah, nice. Um, 
what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like make this box opening two parts because it's taking a uh, bit of time before me editing and all that stuff but you know it's it's fine it's fine all right so we uh, get the good old three zombie tokens again but it is death so yep all right here we go oh okay not creatures speed is medium not that many spells compressity well i mean you're just summoning zombies <laughs> oh all right here comes the boss monster let's see here calculating niche oh menace whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents that creature uses one life oh i need to read what menace does because i have no idea let me put this a bit up Nice. Zombies you control get plus one plus one. When new mastery enters the bench will create two. Oh, okay. So when that enters the field, I can summon two 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 zombie tokens. Nice. Ooh, legendary creature avatar. As additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs two nests to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. Ah, okay. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target player's knife total becomes half during their starting. Hey, up to one target's knife total becomes half the starting night wait what when it enters the field so basically you will your knife will become half their starting knife total rounded down so like if they're like what like in 16 knife they will become 10 knife because their starting total knife is 10 yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> someone help me um Nightmare. Whenever a swamp enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. You draw a card and use one knife, or deal two damage to any target and you gain two knife. Hmm. Ooh, fine. Okay. Uh, every you can pay a swamp and two knife. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until the, the end of turn. Whenever you use knife, draw that many cards. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a good old bird here. Fine, 2-2. Two, two. Enters the battlefield. Put the top four cards of Nightbear into your graveyard. You gain one life for each creature card put in your graveyard this way. Okay. Oh, another one of these birds. Oh, triple. Oh, wow. This game really wants you to uh, get rid of those creatures. Uh, but it's a swamp deck, so I'm pretty sure they have some resurrections here. Yeah? Yeah, like this one, Grave Digger. Return target creature from my graveyard back to my hand when this enters the field. And I'm just gonna see. Oh, only two? Okay. Ah, Skeleton. Uh, for three, you can return. Oh, you can return this skeleton from your grave back to your hand. Ooh, nice. Undead Servant. When Undead Servant enters the battlefield, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token for each card named Undead Servant in your graveyard. So the game's. I think it's gonna give me three of them because that is a really good. Yeah, that's a really good. Can, 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 can you have four? Well. Hold up a second. <laughs> Hold up a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> rule book. Can you have four of each card? I thought it's only three. Huh. Um. Oh, somebody might need to check on on that. But seeing how, <sighs> yeah, it's four. Yeah, sure. I, I, I don't. I don't know. All right. 
but for bones. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature, return a creature card from Gaia to the battlefield, then return another creature. So you sacrifice a creature to special summon a creature from your graveyard and return one? Wow, that... Wow, you get two stuff by sacrificing one. That's pretty good. One mana and a creature to destroy target creature. Destroy target creature. Destroy target creature. Swamp. Nice. And these are going to be the same. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Alright. A cursed horde. Target attacking zombie gains indestructible until end of turn. Damage and effects that says destroy it, don't destroy it. Of its substance, several nests, it's still put into its owner's graveyard. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, just a three with one flying zombie bird. It's fine. Oh, when dark, when crow of dark turns into the battlefield, put the top two cards in them into your graveyard. Okay. More cards to put things into the graveyard. Whenever another creature you control dies, put plus one, plus one. Oh, this can become really big. Uh, so other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. All zombie gains menace. Oh, th there we go. Okay, so menace is they can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Okay. Okay, so when it dies, uh, each player loses two knife. Oh wait, no, no, each opponent loses two knife. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. If more than like one player, but uh, I mean, it's still pretty good on one, 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 one versus one. It's still two knife after all. Target creature gets minus one, minus four until end of turn. Put target creature card from a uh, graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Oh, so it can be from uh, any player's graveyard. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other corners and types. Hmm. Nice. Is that all? Yep, that is all for the swamp deck. Nice. That's a, that's a, nice, I have zombie wizard, pretty good, pretty good. Alright, not bad, not bad, okay. Well, that is going to be the end of part one, and uh, stay tuned for part two, because somebody's gonna eat 